Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a review for you of this very interesting little knife right here. This is the Wee Knives Deacon. Um, first off, though, I want to thank very much my buddy over at Indiana Knives. Indiana Knives is a small dealer in um, Bloomington, Indiana. Hey, what a shock, Indiana, right? Um, but anyways, he's a great guy. He's helped me out before, and uh, he helped me out here just by sending one of these guys along. Uh, that You know, I paid the man, but still. Um, th th thank you very much for that. I want to give a shout-out to a small dealer, right? Um, so there you go. Next thing, size comparison, but he's not related to Wee and any way, shape, or form, so don't worry about that. Anyways, size comparison. Um, This is actually a weirdly sized knife, and it is not so big, but it's also not so small. It's kind of in that nice intermediate range here. Here it is against Spydeco Delica. There are your rat number one, rat number two. See here, it's uh, about knife size, right? It's actually in a very nice intermediate area there. Um, so there you go. There's your size comparison. And then finally, this is a Wii knife. I mean, Wii knives is a uh, Chinese factory. I mean, if you've been living under a rock for the last few years, you might not have heard about them. But the simple fact is they're making really, really nice pieces. They're, they're, their knives are just good. They are uh, probably the best maker in China right now doing work. They're, they're, they're really doing excellent stuff. And this is one of their in-house designs, or at least they're not crediting anyone else. So I'm assuming it's from the, one of their in-house designers. So um, there you go. Let's go on ahead and jump into the good, the great, the bad, and the ugly of your Wee Knives Deacon right here. So to start with on the good side, you know what? I like the carbon fiber. It's just nice. I mean, you can see here they've done a fair amount of contouring to it. This is not a flat knife. And in fact, they've put a little bit of a polish onto this carbon fiber, which really lets it play with the light in a way that is quite attractive. I find this knife uh, very visually compelling. And the fact that they've done this smoothing on the carbon fiber, even around, like, look at what they've done around the lanyard hole here. This is expertly done CF work. And then the, the, this little transition here against the, uh, the where the bolster, well... It's hard to say whether there's a bolster or not. Well, either way. But either way, this little area here, they've just, they've done really, really nice work. I mean, actually, just overall, they've done really nice work. There were lots of really nice details with this knife. You get, for instance, on the spine of the blade here, you can see that you've got these three grooves, which are kind of a Wee Knives trademark, which uh, I, I like very much. But those actually cut through to the jimping on the top of the knife. The jimping on the knife is aligned to the grooves there, which is kind of a cool little touch. It's not important, but it is kind of neat. Nice to see. Um, next thing, the backspacer on this guy is good. Um, it has some nice texturing here, but it's not overly aggressive. It's attractive. It's pretty attractive and pretty mean the same thing in this context, so that's redundant. But whatever it is, um, it, the backspacer here is absolutely nice. You also have some nice grooves on the clip that match the grooves here and match grooves here, match grooves there. there. Nice. Okay, can't argue too much with that. And then overall, the contouring, the, 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 and you can even see here the beautiful contouring around the pivot here to make everything be able to curve around, but also support the pivot fully. Just nice. So I'm liking very, very much the details on this knife. This is a well-designed knife and a very well-made knife. And actually, yeah, I mean, th th that's absolutely great. Next thing, this is a simple design. Um, at some very real level, looking at this knife, it feels a lot like other knives, but that's good. I think in this case, this feels, it's not like it's a straight up homage of anything, but this is sort of just a good old fashioned honest knife design. You get a blade with some flat, some belly, nice sharp tip here. You get a handle. It's designed to fit well in your hand. I mean, at some level, are they going way out of the norm here? No. One could argue that this is a shot straight up the middle, but at the same time, there's a reason that most knives look like this one. It's because it's a good functional style, and that's absolutely good. Next thing, um, this is absolutely this kind of contouring on this guy. This is a very rounded knife, and although that certainly makes it thicker in the pocket, it also makes it very nice in the hand. Um, there, there are hot spots on this guy. We'll talk about those a little bit later, but overall, this idea of a slightly swollen knife in terms of, like, you've got a palm swell here, that does make this a, a lot nicer in the hand, and it, I feel like it makes this a better tool in the longer run, which is a, a, a very nice thing. I the, this kind of contouring here is um, not seldom seen, and it's kind of hard to visualize if you're just looking at a picture or something, especially with weird lighting, um, but it actually does make a major difference in hands. Then finally, on the good side, the blade on this guy is very nice in a lot of ways, actually in exactly two of three dimensions. Um, it is an M390 steel. Uh, where is the, there it is, written down there in the bottom there, M390. That is one of the best blade steels in the world, if not the best for a pocket knife right now, um, which is good. It grinds its ground such that it comes down to a reasonably thin edge, um, which is quite good, especially out towards the tip there. Um, and, you know, overall, it, it cuts. It is a decent enough blade here, and it's got sort of a mirror blasted thing. It's it's blasted still, but you can still see there's some mirroring to it. Um, I, overall, I, I like this blade a lot. It is a solid little cutting tool. It does good work. 
that's all we can really ask for. And so, to me at least, all of that is the good. Uh, did I say the size? Maybe I should say the size. I like the size of this knife very much. I mean, in terms of overall length here, we're coming in around 3.25 inches, but it just, it's in that size range where it's enough, but it's not too much really ever. So, uh, unless you got three inch laws, in which case, yeah, it's too much, but that's not on you, that's on some very scared person who writes laws. Anyways, I digress. Um, but to me, all of that is the good. I like the size a lot. The blade on this is solid. It's a very basic design, but at the same time, there's a reason that the basics work. Um, it has got some great details, nice backspace, a very nice carbon fiber. On the great side, um, the thing that gets me with this knife is the build quality and the action. Um, the action on this guy is amazing. This has an action that, you know, even three or four years ago, when uh, I was starting, just starting to film these things, an action like this would have been like, oh my God, I'm calling all my friends. It's a testament to modern knife making that we're now to the point where this is kind of the norm. But the simple fact is that the action on this is damn near sublime. And then on the other side, it is drop shutty in a very serious way. I, I have to say, I keep handling this knife and thinking about the Shirogorov Neon, um, which is another very, very nice knife that's in this size range. Absolutely, this is way chubbier than the Neon. Um, they, you know, on this dimension, they are nothing alike. But uh, on this dimension, they, 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 there's a lot in common there. And action-wise, I gotta say, this is very, very very similar. Sure, the Shiro's maybe a little bit smoother, but we're so far up the curve of diminishing returns there that it's just like, so every time I handle this, I think I referred to it as the Weiragorov Neon at some point in time, and it feels that way. If you're looking at the Shiro Neon, and you think to yourself, oh, I like that, but that that's a stupid amount of money, which... Yeah. Um, this is a really nice alternative. It has that same feeling of excellence in build, in action, and in just even the shot of dude. It's just, it's amazing. And this is proof. This, this to me is good evidence that we Knives is the best knife maker running in China right now. I mean, Rayot is the other option, but they, they, they're they big on the thread locker, and, and they got some other gripes, and frankly, their blade grinds never get this there. Well, okay, not never. Anyways, I, I, I digress, but We Knives does amazing work, and this is really good evidence of that. This knife, had it been released four years ago, would have been the absolute bell of every ball. It would have been the darling among darlings of the knife community. The fact that nowadays it almost feels a little bit boring is just sign of how damn good we've got it. But to me, this that's what's great here, is that the action and build on this guy is just astoundingly good. We has really, really upped their game, and I think they're forcing everybody else to up their games, and that's that's quite good. So um, that, that, that to me is what's great. Um, on the bad side, to start with, unfortunately, they did screw up the sharpening choil. Not quite far enough, so you can see you get a little bit of a beard smile out there. It can make your life a little easier, or a little harder, that is. I'd probably get in there with a file, expand that out a little bit. But, uh, yeah, not a fan of that. Next thing, um, this guy has uh, some very sharp grooves in the clip here. Uh, unfortunately, they have not really chamfered these. I mean, they've done a little tiny bit of it, um, and that'll wear out over time. But the simple fact is, as I, you know, I felt this brushing on things, snagging on things in my everyday life, Gary, and this, not a big fan. But, uh, you know, whatever. Next thing, this little guy in the back here. Unfortunately, this is the main ergonomic sin uh, with this knife because what they've done here is they've curved the knife up and certainly that'll prevent it from coming out this way, but the simple fact is that so will this and so will this. So what you have here is really a hand size limiter. There is just not that much in the way of grip area here. I mean, you have exactly like 3.25 inches uh, worth of four fingers before you get, uh, well really uncomfortable with this knife. And I, you know, I've actually, I, I saw somebody on Instagram who had very carefully, because carbon fiber is serious business when sanding it, but who had sanded some of this off to make it more comfortable. But they, I don't know why this little back part here had to happen. I can certainly see some aesthetic use for it, but just in practice, it, it ends up being a hot spot, even for me on a regular basis. Pardon me. And actually speaking of hot spots, there are some other ones. There's a bit of a hot spot off of this guy here clip itself is a bit of a hot spot in the hand. I mean, the overall shape and profile of it are quite ergonomic, but uh, th th there are definitely hot spots from time to time here. Next thing. Unfortunately, and this, you know, in conjunction with my rant about just how damn well made this knife is, um, this almost feels absurd. Maybe it is absurd. I'm absurd. We know this. But anyways, um, this is 253 bucks. Um, the thing is, we knives, when they first got started, were known for amazing, amazing value. And the simple fact is that in right now, in, you know, what the, is it March of 2019, a lot of people are getting to the point where they're doing things like this. 
and they're doing it for prices that, well, you know, 253 bucks is sort of middle of the road anymore. I mean, I feel like we has sort of lost their value compass a little bit. I mean, given compared to the old guard, this is amazing. But still, I'd like to see we really pushing the prices down a little bit. I want to feel like every time I, because frankly, there are some disadvantages to buying from an overseas made company. Things like servicing can be a little more complicated. I think, they, I think they've got a U.S. service center. But anyways, and I don't mean to, you know, quality is about effort, not geography, but still, um, I'd like to see them continuing to really price aggressively, and this is not an aggressive price to me. Um, the We Knives, I think, needs to remember that value is how they win. It's a great knife, absolutely, and they do great work here, but if they get complacent on value, somebody will drink their milkshake, somebody will take them down, and that would be sad, because they're just so damn good. So to me, that's what's bad here, is that the price is 253 bucks. it has this turn down in the back, shallow grooves in the clip, and they did absolutely miss the sharpening choil here. On the ugly front, the big thing for me is the, this dimension of this knife. I love this knife on this dimension and this dimension. Those are great dimensions. Why the heck is this knife this thick? Nobody is seeming to ask these days why it is reasonable. Like, I feel like having stock thickness that is in this 0.15 0.16, having this kind of stock thickness here, okay, 0.14 is how it's measuring right now in the world's worst calipers, but anyways, no one seems to be asking themselves why, and I feel like in order to justify 0.15 stock, you either have to have a really wide blade, it just feels like they ran out of the proper side thickness for this, and then they just did that, and they just shipped it. I feel like those things should be that should require justification, because knives should, knives should cut. That's the very first thing they're supposed to do. I mean, and uh, considering that so many knives in this size range have stock thickness that is way, way lower, it just drives me a little bit nuts to see this kind of thing. I mean, again, very similar blade shape, but the stock thickness is very, very much different. So I, I, I would be so much more over the moon with this knife if it were done with the right stock thickness. If this were done in the way that they'd done the Wee Wisp, this would be like a slam dunk gem go buy one right now but as it stands i i it just it frustrates me it, it's like imagine that you were to go out and buy the newest mercedes sedan and the only way they sold it was one on a big lifted suspension with huge off-road tires and no one said anything about why that was the case no you don't need this on the big off-road tires you don't need the blade stock it's thicker than a freaking asphalt milkshake i don't know i'm ranting here but that, to me that is absolutely ugly because that represents a single design choice that they made namely let's make the damn thing too damn thick that that really affects i think negatively the the the, the, the cutting ability of the knife on the whole. It still cuts. So I'll give you that any day of the week. But it just, it bothers me very much when I know they can do things like the Wisp that were just uh, astoundingly good. They didn't do that here. So um, to me, that's what's ugly here is that this knife makes sense on two out of three dimensions. And that third one is just kind of silly to me. Um, on the final conclusion front, this is a really, really good knife. I mean, it really is. It is beautifully made. It is absolutely wonderfully executed. We Knives has done such damn good work here. It is amazing. And it is absolutely attractive. But it also has some flaws to it. I mean, this back turn down is an ergonomic flaw in my estimation. The value is good compared to what we had four years ago, but very rapidly feeling less competitive. Um, and the thing is, it feels like no one thought critically about the knife in this dimension. They just, oh, well, we got point, uh, point 0.15 stock. Let's throw it in there. And no one thought to say, no, that's not right. Um, and that, 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 that it's bothersome to me, but that's my own personal gripe. Honestly, though, I still end up felt, felt uh, I still ended up feeling a little bit disappointed because I saw this guy uh, from the on this angle, uh, in you know catalogs and on Instagram, and it was just like, oh my god, yes, I want this knife, I want this knife, I want this knife, I want this. So. Oh. Why I want this knife? I want. Oh, I, I I don't know. This is my own bias, but to me, that thing is kind of makes this a bit of a near miss. If they'd made it a lot thinner, I'd be absolutely oh, holy crap on board. Or frankly, if they'd made it substantially cheaper, if this were coming in at two hundred, then it's like okay, yeah, it's a little overly thick. But they're, they're trying. I, but uh, as it stands right now, at a price that is, and with this freaking stock thick, I don't know. That bothers me perhaps more than it should. So, as it stands,
sense. I want to be very, very clear. You are feeling my bias full blast. And I'm going to be, oh my God, you're biased. You hate everything, et cetera, down in the comments. That's fine. You Well, the, the simple fact is that, that it, it, I'm very frustrated by that feeling of near miss. And this feels a lot like that. If you're loving this guy, and if you don't mind this, the thick stock, if you're only cutting things where it's not actually a concern, where, you, where it doesn't matter if it, you know, kind of limps out there at the edge, then absolutely, you're going to freaking love this knife. It's an absolutely beautiful thing. But with a blade and a uh, price that are both a little bit thoughtlessly thick, I think only you are going to be able to decide whether this deacon belongs in your congregation. So there you go. So very, very close. And if you make the Wisp Edition Wee Knives, I am so freaking in. But um, aside from that, I did there you go. So, hope this has been interesting. Hope we realize as they sell steel and thinner sheets. And I hope that all of the rest of you have yourselves just an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.